Hey y'all. All right. I just made a short or whatever you call on YouTube about you know, people unsubscribing because they can't handle the truth that I share. And someone commented like Oh, the worst information I've ever heard, or whatever the fuck. It's like, bitch. <laughs> Seriously. Like, I really don't give a fuck about your opinion, but it really makes me want to make a video about it, because... Just like Jack Nicholson, you can't handle the truth, bitch. I'll tell you some truth. Alright, so I asked my cards, what is the truth that people need to hear? Because I make it a point on my channel because I don't want to be like, you know, these fucking basic bitches just talking about Oh, what's he thinking about you and zodiac signs? I actually ask real questions and try to get real answers and, you know, what's going on in the world? And if you can't handle that, suck a dick. So, that's just my personality. That's just how I am. If you don't like it, fine. Unsubscribe. Don't watch me. But... Actually, since I made that, I had a few more subscribers, so thank you guys. Love you. <laughs> like, I'm never going to be a big channel, because I don't do the normal shit. And I try to ask questions and, you know, give information on real world shit. And it's not so popular, because I really don't give about give a fuck about, you know, zodiac signs and how is he feeling about you? Like, everybody does that. So, I'm gonna do my own thing. So, thank you for everybody that has subscribed and anybody that watches my videos. Please subscribe. You know, show some support for a bitch. Because I'd enjoy it. Like, I'd love to have people regularly watch what I have to say because I expose real truth. You know, I may not be one of these channelers or, you know, people that are on popular channels that are like, well, 5D, and blah, 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 like, all the shit that they regurgitate, like, over and over. It's just, I want to see the real truth. I want to know what is actually going on. And since, yes, I'm afraid to actually channel. But my cards are a way for me to channel until I get over my PTSD for meditation channeling. This is a way for me to get answers and for me to give it to you. So, in my asking, what is the, you know, information that you need to know right now? I'm sorry if you don't like it, but it is what it is. So let's get to it. It's probably not the original question I asked, but whatever. Alright, I'm using the Heal Yourself reading cards with the Energy Oracle cards and the Game of Thrones tarot. So we have... Temptation with the Page of Cups and the Tower. Jesus, what was my original question? 
what is because she said she didn't like you know, so what is the you know real information you need to know all right of course you know you can see some of you know what i have on my table yeah this is my table like i trust in this shit so yeah i'll show you my newest Yep, that is a, a, stone for an altar that, yeah, I just picked up, um, that's Bastet, because, love Bastet, I have a lot of cats, she's visited, visited me. A lot so yeah but okay so what is the message that people need to know that is the real truth like even if you don't like the truth I'm still give it so what's the real truth that you need to know right now we have temptation with page of cups and the tower so we have temptation are you tempted to believe in the bullshit? Look at this card. This woman, she has a lot surrounding her, but she's tempted by something that is not real, that is grabbing at her. And it's like, come on, baby. I'll show you the truth, but she has all of this physical stuff around her. So she's tempted to believe something that is not real. And then we have the Page of Cups with the Tower. So being tempted to believe something that is not real, when you have all of this surrounding you that is actually real, with the Page of Cups, it's like message bitch like feel this shit like what are you doing like feel what is real like i'm sending you the message like this motherfucker the spectral spectral bitch is not real do not believe this shit do not be tempted be grounded in what is around you because uh -uh. like believe what is around you like feel that shit and the tower is like if you believe this spectral bitch that is like come to me baby like i know what you want and like you're just tempted to believe something that is not real it's like your shit is gonna blow sky fucking high. Like, you're trying to be warned not to trust this shit. You have all that is around you that is real. And you're being warned, like, trust in what you know. Trust in your intuition not to believe this shit. But if you do, shit is gonna blow the fuck up. And then we have yin yang with the five of swords sorry cards are a little mer five of swords with temperance all right so you know yin and yang the balance masculine feminine dark and light what should you do with that because there is not one without the other they are a balance you cannot have dark without light you cannot have light without dark you're not cannot have masculine without feminine you cannot have feminine without masculine with the five of swords with all these indoctrinated stupid bitches are like <laughs> i'm gonna fight that shit because oh it's not real i'm gonna you know like 
be indoctrinated and say, oh, you're wrong. But you see with this card, if you've ever watched Game of Thrones, okay, the books are better than the show, but um, he's just sitting there like, I don't know what to do. Like, should I agree that my brothers were murdered and, you know, surrender my place to Theon? Like, I don't know what to do. Like, I'm stuck. Masculine Fenelon, dark and light. Should you surrender? He's not sure. But then you have temperance. The study of knowledge. What do you know? What have you learned? You have to learn. You can't just blindly follow shit and be like, I don't know what to do. Surrender your whole fucking being to someone that is not having your best interests at heart that just wants to take over your place. Or study and learn what you need to know. Because he's just in the dark, like, okay, I'm going to learn everything I want to learn. Like, I need to know everything I need to know. So, with the yin and yang, do not give up your place just because you don't know, or you don't understand, or you're confused. Hold your place. And learn about it. Don't give up your place because you don't understand it. Learn about it. Or you're going to have the fucking tower and everything's going to blow up. Learn. And then we have financial constraints with the page of coins and the six of coins. Okay. So... With these people that are trying to take shit over, um, they're trying, like, most of these SJWs are trying to destroy people's lives. That is not something you do to a normal, you know, person that is just living their life, that is something you do to someone that you don't agree with their views. You are trying to be a fucking communist and take their life. So, with a page of coins and the six of coins, whether you feel struggle and forced and the temptation to agree with something that's bullshit hold your ground because the page of coins is like nah bitch like I got something hidden like I'm about to blow something your way like yeah like hold your fucking ground you may think things are empty but I'm about to throw something your way. And with the six of coins, he's like, ah, you hold your fucking place. I'm about to give you some shit. Like, hold your views. Do not give in to the temptation of the bullshit. Be like, my covers may seem empty, but I'm about to get some fucking gain from holding my place. Like, holding my beliefs, holding strong to what I believe in, and not allowing these people to deter me from my beliefs. Like, it may appear empty, but help is coming your way. Fuck left or right, it's just holding on to your beliefs in what is real. And what is real? These people... Are trying to take away from you. So just hold on to it. And the longer you hold on to it. Yeah you may have to wait a while. But hold on to it. And it will be coming 
your way. And you will reap the benefits of holding your ground. Do not let anything deter you. Like the scientific experiments of people in a group, like waiting in a waiting room. When the buzzer goes off, they stand up. And everybody in the waiting room is like, why are they standing up? But after a while, they start standing up when the buzzer goes off. And they're just like, they have no idea why. They're just going along with what they're doing. Or the experiment of, you know, the people that are giving the wrong answer to, you know, the shortest or longest line. People go along with it because they don't want to be ostracized. They don't want to be out of the group. But the people that stand with it and give the right answer in the long run will reap the benefits. Because you are not going along with the bullshit. Stand your fucking ground. Don't be indoctrinated. Okay, and then we have wild. With anxiety and the three of cups. So, if you're a true, free spirit, you will be viewed as wild and, you know, ostracized and, oh, you cannot be controlled and you have to be separate. But there is nothing wrong with that. Being a wild, free, critical thinking spirit is everything you need to be. You may feel anxiety around that. Being a critical thinker and going against the grain and being a wild spirit saying, fuck this, I'm going my own fucking way. You'll feel alone and you'll feel anxiety. But in the end, you will find your tribe. You will find like-minded people that don't agree with this fucking bullshit narrative. You will find your people. You will all come together and you can conquer nations. Alright. Yeah, I can be a bit passionate in my readings, but... This person really pissed me off (laughs) with their fucking comment. Like, oh, this is the most bullshit whatever. When I was just talking about, you know, a few people unsubscribe to my channel because they can't handle the truth because I speak the truth. So, but, uh, I felt like answering that with a reading and people like that need to realize that people like me are going to conquer. Sadly, a lot of people that have gone with the narrative are already on their way out. But if you've kept to your beliefs, if you have kept to your your stance on hell no, keep to it. Eventually, there will come a time where you will need that. And the only ones that will win are the people like you and me that have stood against it and said, hell no, homie, don't play that shit. I understand. (laughs) I am for everybody. And I'm cool with that. At least I'm putting my information out there. I'm speaking the truth that I receive. And I don't fucking care if you don't like me. At least I'm putting it out there. And I continue to do that for four fucking years. So, it's whatever. This is the truth. Keep to your fucking guns and be true to you. Do not accept the bullshit. Love y'all.